Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Carlucci. I'm in the studio this evening. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Dirty Talk 101 Vegas, where we talk to the bold, stories unfold from the young to the old, and nothing's off limits to be told. In studio tonight, I got Real Deal Leal. Real Deal Leal, give it up for the people. Say what's up. What's up? What's up? How to do it? Awesome. And on my line, I got Kelly, the killer cutie. Kelly, say hello to the people. Hi, Carly. Hi, <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're going to get into a couple of things tonight, as usual. But first, I want to start off with some things that have been in the news. So have you guys heard about this thing with that Jesse Sommelier or whatever, the actor from Empire? Of course, it's all over the place. So that is just so crazy to me. So what do you guys think? You guys think he did it and then he just got off because he's rich? Or I don't know. What's going on there? I have no idea either. And they like sealed the record. I mean, for something like that, they sealed the records. You can't even see all the evidence. And I don't know. I think he's guilty, personally. You think he's guilty. What's your vote, real deal, Leo? Uh, Pretty guilty. You think he's guilty? 100%. I mean, I don't know. I think he definitely, no matter what, set himself back. I think he definitely put his uh, credibility, so to speak, into question. So I don't know what's up with that. But, Jesse, you got to figure that out, homeboy. Um, And then in other news, they've been trying to keep it quiet. But you guys know R. Kelly is still facing charges, right? Yes. So, we have to get into this, because originally, I felt like, oh, I don't know, the girls were 15, 16 years old, they knew what they were doing, you know, they weren't little babies that were being forced to do something, but then, dun, 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 I watched the documentary, and then that put a whole new spin on it. Have you seen the Surviving R. Kelly um, documentary? No, I did not. I saw the previews, but I didn't watch it yet. Okay. Um, Real Deal Leo, have you seen it? Uh, some of it, yeah. You saw some of it? Yeah. Thoughts? Thoughts? Um, words? You phrases? Know, you know, if he is, if he would have just ordered a couple pizzas every now and again, <laughs> he wouldn't be facing all these charges. Uh, but he was pretty cruel, you know. It's pretty cruel, and he was having a lot of people... Like, basically seek these young girls out. So it's kind of creepy. Uh, yeah, creepy. I mean, that's the part that's creepy to me. And for a while. For almost over over a decade. Yeah. Like, the part where I found out that he was actually keeping them in closets. and Or not closets, but in rooms. That's a song. And <laughs> that, is a, that, that is a song. But, you know, that he was keeping them in the room and he wasn't letting them out. And this and that. It was just crazy to me. I was like, how does that even work? Like, I I don't get it. Did you know he was doing all of that, Cutie Kelly? I did know. And for that long, I mean, that's disturbing. That's obviously, he's messed up in the head. Did you? That's a long time to keep that going. So I definitely think he's guilty. I did before. I saw the documentary. Well, it's, it sucks because... I thought, you know, I don't know. I definitely retract my previous statements. And um, I actually think that he's guilty, too. And then I think they need to send him directly to jail. So no collect $200. <laughs> no extra turn around the, the board. He's got to go. Um, yeah, he's brave. So. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just a little bit much. But what are you going to do, right? Well... You know, people definitely have weird fetishes and fantasies and stuff like that. Uh, Obviously, R. Kelly with his whole peeing on people thing. But I'm guessing that, you know, you, Kelly the Killer Cutie, that you have a lot of people that are calling in with weird fetishes and fantasies. Why don't you tell the people what it is that you do? Um, I do phone sex operator work. Okay, okay. (laughs) And how long have you been in the industry? I actually just started recently. Oh, so you're a newbie. I am. I am. I've been doing it for free for years, but... (laughs) (laughs) 
Literally, um, any any kind of weird thing you could possibly think of. I've not had anybody with any golden shower fantasies, though. No. <laughs> no PP on you fantasies yet? What's the craziest uh, fantasy that you've had somebody call in and try and act out with you over the phone? Um, honestly, the craziest fantasy is that they want to, like, like, one of them wanted to reenact, like, a... Uh, like normal husband and wife, like making a dinner kind of fantasy. Oh <laughs> I mean, my much goodness! Weirder than any kind of sexual kink. So I, that was like a little bit weirder to me, but um, a lot of male domination. Men want to be dominated. Yes, a lot of it's called femdom, which I didn't know a lot about. So I actually had to do a little bit of research <laughs> about it <laughs> when I started getting more requests for it. So. Femdom. So, what does femdom go like? What is, what happens in a call that that's in femdom? So, basically, be in charge, and then they would usually be referred to as mistress or goddess, and the male is usually the slave and has to be treated as one. Head bowed, cage. I mean, it really could be on all different levels. It really depends on their kink level, and you just kind of have to feel it out, but. That seems to be a big, and uh, the MILF thing seems to be big. So they could just see my my bio. So they seem like I get a lot of younger callers. That's, so that's interesting. So there's a lot of younger guys calling in trying to get that nurturing, loving feeling. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's, got, it's mommy issues for sure. Some mommy of them issues? Are definite mommy issues. Some are definitely MILF fetish, I guess. But it's a. It's a big um, subcategory in the porn world. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Real Deal Lil, do you have any... <laughs> you, you're, you're skipping the MILF and you're going straight to the GILF? Grandma. Grandma. You're yeah. to the GILF? I have bigger issues. Yeah. <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah. Real Deal Lil, what's your fantasy? Make me a cake. What's your fantasy? Yeah. What's my fantasy about with what? Uh, I don't know. What would you... If you called in and you were talking to Kelly the Killer Cutie, what would you talk to her about? Mm, sex stuff. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know. I, I would probably ease into you it. You want to do a mock call and you can tell me what. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect. Okay, ready? I'm 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 gonna be the ring. I'm gonna be the yeah. dial tone. Okay, ready? Ring. Okay. Ring. Well, first of all, this is 2019. So oh, there isn't a ring. Sexting There's... is included, so sometimes oh. they'll text me first. Oh. Call. Okay. 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 Set it up. Instead, you just find her on the internet. You shoot her a text. What do you say? Yeah, we go. Um. I say, I say something like, "Come on, let me hear your best Mac." Like, "Hey, cutie, <laughs> LOL, <laughs> what's up?" Emoji, emoji. Yeah, I would probably speak more in emoji, so it'd be, it'd be not as not as cute. The eggplant and the squirt. Syndrome. Yeah, I think I, I think I would be really cute at first, and then I'd be really like vulgar. I'm like, "Come on, come on, grandma," or that's you know, usually how it goes. That's, <laughs> that's usually how it goes. Yeah, once I feel goes. comfortable, I, I want to make you uncomfortable. As okay, okay, okay. So, 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 mock, so, mock situation. You text her, and I'm paying a lot for per minute, so I got, <laughs> I got, I got to get it in. You know? yeah, it's, it's like a dollar forty-five a minute. Like oh that. lord! Actually, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad. bad. Yeah. That's cheaper than I thought you were gonna say. Hmm. Remember, that's it used to be like five ninety-nine a minute. Yeah, you couldn't even get a music video yeah. for a uh, dollar, dollar fifty. <laughs> Request. I don't know. It right. would be. Uh, huh. Yeah, I mean, you do have a nice voice, and I would definitely feel like, I don't know, I would I would relate it more to, like, if I was a kid, and it was an adult woman that I was attracted to, like, on the phone type stuff, instead of just being, like, a girl my age or whatever, because I just, I wouldn't know you. So. Okay, so what would you start, okay, so you send the, the squirt emoji, Kelly, what do you say back? <laughs> um, I'm going to text back there. Probably a winky face or a hey handsome. How are you tonight? Hey handsome, I like Pretty that. Works hair. every time. Okay, okay. So then he that likes that. Then he likes that. that. He takes so. the bait. He takes the high handsome bait, and then I don't know how, what is, what happens from there. Does it call you through the phone or? Can you send news? Um, well, some will just want to text, and then others will want to call. So phone call, and then ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. So ring, ring. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi, Kelly. How Hi. you doing? Good. How are you? 
Good, I'm good. Um, yeah, you have a great voice. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I was about to say the same thing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how much was this a minute? No, uh, that, that, that's not what I would say. <laughs> that's not what I would say. Uh, I'd be like, well, what you doing tonight? I'm like, well, I'm pretty lonely. You know, I, I think I want sympathy. So I'm like, I'm pretty lonely tonight, Kelly. And I've seen you. And... They always want sympathy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That's sick. You know, I'm, I'm one of those guys. You know I just can't afford really the $1.50 fifty a minute. I would say, I have like five regulars. I would say half of them are sexual. The other half are just really needy, lonely people. Oh, man. Yeah. And you... they go right for it. Because like when you're paying for it, you really don't hold anything back about your depraved, sick, perverted thoughts. You just mm. kind of, let, like you said, they're sweet and then just vulgar. Mm. <laughs> wow. So, or just okay. The whole time, which is even, or sweet and like they need validation. And, you know, I mean, everybody wants to feel needed and wanted and interesting. So, I guess for some people, they just have to kind of take a different route to get there. What's some of the nasty oh. stuff they say to you? And then, like, Kelly, Kelly, you killer cutie, let me put it in your <laughs> butt. What do they say to you? Um, a lot of butt stuff. Nice. And then the younger guys are either very try to be like dominating and mm. well you know <laughs> almost like they're talking back to their mother Ooh. <laughs> yeah wow. and then um i had one guy who had like a kidnap type rape fantasy that he wanted to be kidnapped and raped no that he wanted that's to, hot you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot i'm like yeah i was like kelly here are the keys to my house. And about <laughs> anywhere from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., why don't you kick the fucking door down? Yeah. <laughs> Have some mace. Get in there. <laughs> yeah. Ski mask, uh, voice changer, all that. I want it real. I want the van. I'm going to rent out a van. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. What is, what is, yeah. Was he like, okay, I'm putting you in my raper van? <laughs> Pull up the white van in the front. <laughs> um, he's very specific and just, I mean, yeah, they really put their stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, I can't get over this. No, 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 I can't skip over this. Okay, so he had a kidnap rape fantasy that, and it wasn't that he wanted to be kidnapped and raped. He wanted to kidnap and rape a woman. Oh my god. Okay, well, I guess first. No, I, I said borderline rape, so I didn't really well, let it go that far because I can kind of just obviously quit whenever I want, but he got a little bit creepy. Hmm. He wanted to choke me with a pair of panties. And he was very specific about just, you know, making sure I almost couldn't breathe. Okay. So he's like, yeah. he's like, Kelly, you cutie, you fucking bitch, can you breathe? <laughs> No, but it's supposed to be a kidnap fantasy, but I'm supposed to enjoy it, obviously. But like, so, like, the yeah. like I looked it up. I'm like, I'm definitely not going to. Call me R. Kelly. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Call me R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's insane. That's yeah. insane. Okay, are there any, do you feel like there's any stigmas that are attached to your profession? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I know. Okay, what do you think some of the stigmas are? Sex work is not work. Mm. I mean, it is when your money's green and it comes in your account, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she goes, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was shaking my head and saying, yeah. Um, I guess maybe promiscuous woman would do the job. Are you promiscuous? Do you think that you are um, a lady of the night? <laughs> I um, definitely have worn a scarlet letter, let's just say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know what? Yeah, I've definitely been slutty. Now I'm just, like, looking for that special guy just to be, like, his slut. But I'm not, like, the town slut, if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> sense but... You're in the middle. No, that absolutely <laughs> makes sense. That, that makes sense to all of the sluts in the world. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm back in my heyday. <laughs> um, what are, like, so... I guess maybe since there are stigmas around it, is it hard to date with your profession? So since I just started doing it, I really don't date that much. 
Um, I just, I mean, what you see is like what you get. I just pretty much am unapologetic for anything I do. So if a guy's going to date me, then he's kind of got to accept that part of me. So I would assume dating would be hard, but so getting there, I am. You know, I'm kind of out there and say whatever I want and talk filthy. You know this, I'm sure. So it's usually okay with men in the beginning. Like they're usually attracted to me for that. But then once we start dating, yeah, you on that that damn phone again? Then they try and switch it up. Do they get intimidated by your clients? Uh, I would say, yeah, absolutely. Do they think that you're like falling in love with them or that you're giving them too much attention? Like what intimidates them about it? Um, guys that I date would intimidate them. Mm-hmm. They just try to like, I mean, I want to see like a lot of men do that is, you know, meet an attractive, strong, like just bold woman and they fall in love with her for that. And then this like whole culture where then you try to you know, tame her after you get her. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Yes, honey child. You're, you're preaching to the choir right, right now. And not be so bold, yes, and not, you know, so forward. And this is what you see is what you get. I'm not going to change, you know. So usually they're cool with it in the beginning, and that's why they are attracted to me because of my behavior. And then usually my behavior is the reason that they're insecure or arguing or I should tone it down. Well, whenever it comes to behavior, I always remember the quote that well-behaved women rarely make history. So you keep on misbehaving. <laughs> exactly. um, so, okay. So this has always been something that I want to know about the whole calling in of the sexual talk and everything. Do you hear them when they're coming? <laughs> Um, I mean, again, I've been slutty in the past, so I can kind of pick up the, you know, audible cues <laughs> in their voices. Usually they'll breathe heavier and, you know, some will swear, some will moan. They just usually get louder in general. Breathing <laughs> becomes heavier. Some don't come at all. Some, um, you know, no, some don't. Some you pray do. <laughs> And some, like I said, are normal calls about their everyday life. But yeah, I can usually tell when they're, you know, about to. And does it ever get you off whenever you're taking phone calls and, like, going through the whole thing? No, it's not. You haven't had a a client ever, like, turn you on, like, girl six? I have not, no. Interesting. Is it... I mean, well, I guess it's like the new school now or whatever. So I'm assuming you get to do whatever you want from the comfort of your home or your studio or whatever, right? You don't have to go into a call center anymore or anything like that. Exactly. Are, do they, okay, so this is a question. Do you have to take sex call training? (laughs) (laughs) No, I did not. I, I actually found an ad on Craigslist and it was like through a local company and they just kind of ask you questions and, you know, your capability and your voice and openness. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So how do you prepare yourself to have these phone calls? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know how I would feel about that. Like, everybody knows I used to go-go dance, but... That's different because you're just like in a bar and you're just like slinging drinks and, you know, it is what it is. But in this case, you have to like, I don't know, like you have to have something to say to them. Like, I, I feel like I would be mad awkward. Um, It's definitely awkward, but it's, I mean, I'm really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I just kind of, I'm. it really depends. I just kind of go, it's always awkward. But they pretty much either like what they hear or they don't. You just, I mean, like I said, they're paying for it. Usually get to the point so you know what they like or want or need. And like I said, it's regulars also. So it's not too awkward after a couple times you talk to them. And a lot of it is actually in texting. It's more texting than verbal, actually. 
Wow. Do you yeah. do you have like pre recorded stuff like on your clipboard wow. to just use and like take on multiple clients? The auto text? Yeah, the auto text. You can you can bank it. Yeah, baby. Make yeah. me hard. Yeah. I was thinking no, but I was telling my friend today if I could find somebody because there's certain days where it's just like it's something about being it's just getting yourself in that mind frame. So some hmm. days I just won't even feel like doing it at all because it's just yeah, you know, just don't want to. Like you said, it's like how do you prepare yourself? It's not, you have to like be ready, but some days you're just not in that mood. So, mm -hmm. so if I could get girls to do the texting part for me, like you know. Or software program. The clients during the day when I'm not around, until I, you know, so usually you'll build them up with the texting call and then, you know, the texting all day or whatever, and that usually works out to about the same a dollar forty five minute, and then you'll do the phone call later on. So that's what I was thinking, but maybe yeah. Like I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking bigger. Time. I'm thinking bigger. I'm thinking we take your voice, <laughs> we record every every word in the dictionary. <laughs> and then we'll just make a, a cyber bot that'll just like do hundreds of men at the same time. It's like, I want to fuck, fuck <laughs> you, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> then it goes to John. <laughs> John. It just changes, John. changes all the names. Schubert. Steven. Michael. Do you ever have. You got a big one, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like, if you're feeling bad, you're like, yeah, 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 I'm licking your balls. You know, it's like, yeah, whatever. Or instead of like that, you can have an automated system. Because <laughs> the text messages, if you can just do the text messages, that means, uh, I'm gonna, give me your email. <laughs> You're going to start doing sex <laughs> messages? Like, yeah, I'm making your balls. Oh, yeah. actually, that's a good yeah. question. Are there any, are there any male phone sex operators? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. That's a good question. But I feel like there probably is. Because people like this day and age, like, how could there still be sex operators? Like, you know. Everybody's got their thing. Everybody's got some fetish. Everybody likes the way, like I said, it's neediness. Some people need to hear that voice or, you know, put a voice yeah. with the fantasy or the image. Some need the internet. And some need to look at porn. Some need to close their eyes and fantasize about it. So I assume it probably is male yeah. phone sex operators. <laughs> I'm just over here doing the dishes and the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would turn me on. <laughs> Bouncing around. I, mean. I don't know. Oh, wow. That was super hot. I think he just got me wet off of that. If a man was like, I'm doing the dishes and yeah, the laundry. You could get the panty drops right now. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh. Um, all right. Now you've got me really excited thinking about a man doing dishes and laundry. I literally, I'm all steamed up. I can't think. <laughs> I'm <laughs> You said you're gonna get some rubber gloves. Some cooking, some drying. You're gonna you're gonna start cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that real deal though. <laughs> um, so do you guys have any like are there conventions like the porno stars and everybody have conventions that they go to and like where they kind of like all get together in the industry? Well, do or, you do guys... you, or do you phone it in? <laughs> 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 that was a little sex phone humor. Thanks, thanks for that, Jones. <laughs> Um, I do not know. <laughs> no conventions, no, you know. Well, you're you're still like you said, you're still fairly new into it. Do you have any plans to do anything further with it? Like, do you see yourself doing anything else in the industry? No, definitely not. No, you're not interested in doing anything further. No movies, no nothing like that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> is that that's a little <laughs> bit too far for you? Um, is it so? Yeah. Is part of um, part of the draw to it? I mean, obviously, you know, you're doing it because you the money's good, right? Right. But is there another part of it that draws you to it because you do get to be like the mistress, like the sexy woman on the other end of the phone? Absolutely, I do like that aspect. Is it, so is that part like a, like, cause you know, people always say whatever they do in their, you know, chosen occupation, it's usually like for, for money and for power. So what do you think the power aspect of it is for you? Um, I mean, sex is powerful in general, you know, it makes a lot of humans crazy. So I mean, I guess it's just like that control over, I don't know. <laughs> the 
over like control. their fantasy. Um, not control over the men, I would say, but just the power to, you know, turn them on. Know, maybe just like fixing broken people or something. Weirdo, needy people. No, I mean, that definitely makes sense. I know a lot of the strippers that come on the show, they always say, like, part of it is, like, you know, like, they, yeah, they have, like, guys that come in that are nasty, that, like, you know, just want dances or whatever, but they have a lot of guys that are, like, sad or, like, their wife won't have sex with them, and so they come and see them, um, you know, like, that kind of a thing. I mean, I feel like sex work really is about, you know, when it comes, like I said, it's just about everybody wants to feel needed and wanted and interesting. And the way that people achieve that sometimes is, you know, paying for sex or having a high power job or, um, you know, a therapist. And sometimes you're like a therapist. It really is just broken, needy people. I mean, I track that in life in general. So, I mean, I, I would like to be a sex therapist, actually, if you ask. I'd like to go further. That would be my dream occupation. Oh, really? So you want to know what makes them tick when it comes to sex? I think it tells a lot about a person when you know what makes them tick during sex. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I ever think. Well, I guess I do. I think about like the spiritual side of sex, but I never think about like the, you know, actual cognitive side of it of like, you know, the, what people, are thinking <laughs> when they're when they're in the process of everything. Um, that's why I think like I would be awkward. Like I don't know <laughs> if I would know what to say to these people. That's why I was like, do they train you or like how do you prepare? Like, did you watch pornos and like hear sexy phrases or you just know what to say? I mean, I watch a lot of porno in general in my everyday life, but. <laughs> A couple, like I said, like the femdom, I didn't really know anything about it, so I watched a lot of porn to kind of like learn what to say and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, it's like basic human psychology when somebody, you, you can kind of like, I mean, they go right into their kinks and fetishes usually. So like I said, with the younger, I can usually tell whether it's like a mommy issue type thing or some kind of mill fetish. And I mean, it's, you know, it comes down to a lot of people's issues or... Men who want to be dominated are usually, like, older, high-powered, like, CEOs and stuff like that who are so dominating in their everyday life want to be, like, degraded and completely submissive in their... Like, what's some of the shit that they say to you? Like, what Like what do they say to you? Like, I want to know the nitty-gritty. Like, okay, so, real deal, real, he's too, he's too shy. Like, you know, you know, Carlici's going to keep it Gucci. I'm, I'm nasty. So, like, they call, and then they're like... I'm um, Mr. Big CEO guy, and I've been kicking ass and taking names all day, so now I want my ass kicked. So then he calls you. He calls Kelly the killer cutie, and then, like, he's, like, he requests to be dominated. Like, what do you say to him? So usually they'll start with, like, I've been bad today, mistress, or something to kind of allude to that's the direction they want to go in. Like okay, so mistress, mistress, or goddess. mistress, goddess, I've been such a naughty boy today. I want you to, I want you me to, yes. I want you to put me in my place. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I'll say how, you know, how bad have you been today, slave? Usually I'll refer to them as slave. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, you know, keep your head bowed when you talk to me. Um, yes, mistress, I'm sorry. Um, you know, you've made my cock so hard, may I please touch it now? No, you may not, slave, not until I say you can. So on and so forth. And <laughs> a lot of that. Uh, Very submissive. And yes. Okay, so they literally just want to be talked shit to over the phone. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I always, I don't, you know, my brain is so dirty. I, I have porno sex in my brain. So I'm like thinking that they're like, yeah, I want you to put it in my ass or I want to, I want to put it in your ass. Like, I don't know what I think that guys would say. I've always been scared to even call Miss Cleo. So I don't know if I could call a sex operator. <laughs> I think I'm going to put it on my bucket list. For, I for, think it's still more to call Miss Cleo than a phone sex operator. <laughs> so when when you guys are um, on and you're doing your your things, like how do people like um, I don't know? Do they connect with you like, like through a website or do they just? It's a number that they find and then they text that number and then they just happen to get you. 
Like Yes, it's a website. And then, like, I have a extension number. So if they want me as a regular, they can just call that. And then it filters through my phone kind of like, you know, when you take an Uber and it's a burner number. And mm-hmm. As soon as they drop you off, like, the number's gone. It's kind of the same concept. Got it. Got it. Got it. So that keeps it nice and safe. Have you had it? Because that's what I was wondering about the safety issue of it. So have you had any like crazy things happen to where you're like, oh, my God, I'm scared. This this guy was a weirdo creeper, like the guy that wanted the the rape, you know, simulation like (laughs) that would scare me. Like, are there any like scary guys that call in? Um, there's not, I would say like even more scary than the guy with the rape would be like, a, like this younger, quiet kind of reserve just would say like weird shit, kind of like, you know, really needy, like I'm not good enough anyway. And then disappear. He kind of like seemed a little more stalkerish, but no, never anything dangerous or where he thought he would just cross the line, knock on wood. Good, good, good. Have you, uh, ha- do you have any, um, you know, associates or whatever in the industry that have had anything crazy happen to them? Well, I don't associate with any of them. So I just get the money through my bank and then they work out of a different state, like the corporate office. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. So then you're never like, 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 you know, like you said, you're not going to any of the conventions or anything like that to where yeah. you're, like, right. networking or anything. Training like seminars. That. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> and, and jobs, you know, people network. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's, so are, is there such thing as a famous sex, phone sex operator? Um, not that I know of, no. Wow. That's a good question. Unsung heroes. Damn, I think I just found a niche, you guys. So Kelly the cute, the killer cutie, are you gonna be the first famous <laughs> phone sex operator? Maybe you never know. I I think you should. I think you should go for it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, we are at the part of the show that is my favorite part of the show. I want to ask my question. You have a question? What? Well, yeah, get it in right now. Um, get it in. Who knows that you're a phone sex operator in your close circle and family? Oh, that's a good one. Is it a secret? Um, Does anybody know? Yes, my friends all know. I don't have much family. Okay. But, um, yeah, my friends all know. Yeah, and they're they're probably a wild bunch as well. (laughs) I mean, no, they're not as wild as me, but... Yeah. A little bit more calm, but they're accepting. And, I mean, like, they've been my friends for, like, 25 years, so. Mm. Wouldn't it be odd if one yeah. of them calls in, accidentally gets you? <laughs> well, you know, male, female. Yeah. that used to happen to me at the strip clubs. Like, people would come in, and then, like, it, it's definitely, you know, I, I'm walking over. I'm like, hey, you want a drink? And then, like, they turn around, and they're like, <gasps> Um, I'm just here. I'm just here to have a soda. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Give me my twenty dollars for this shitty drink and let me go about my way. So, <laughs> uh, that that does happen in like strip clubs and in, like in nightclubs. Like, even uh, even as a VIP hostess out here in Vegas, I've had times where you know I'm like hosting somebody and they call in and they're like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that and. We want to have 20 guys go to the strip club and then I show up to host them and they're like, um, well, I'm not really going to go to the strip club. It's just everybody else is going to the strip club. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I mean, people do though, because like, like she said, um, people judge sex workers and they judge people in the industry period like people judge me now even though all i'm doing is just talking about sex i'm like salt and pepper i'm like can we talk about sex <laughs> i just want to talk about it and people have a people are hung up on that so you know it's you never really bother well i think people are just like repressing their own you know kinks and fantasies mm-hmm. and stuff and like you know they definitely don't like when other people are very open about it yeah yeah they're, they're the ones calling in about the rape fantasy <laughs> the ones that repress right. all their feelings you mean yeah, yeah i believe yeah. that I, I totally believe that those are like the biggest shit shows i think people who really repress like all their fantasies and like they're you know people are scared to ask for what they want or like be, for fear of judgment you know mm-hmm. and it's like 
once you're comfortable with somebody and you're not afraid to ask her what you want or tell people what you want or your fantasies or how you like it, like it opens up whole new, you know, sexual world. So if you can be comfortable and talk about it, there's nothing wrong with it. It just makes other people uncomfortable. Well, you said it's never turned you on before when you were, um, you know, working, so to speak. But have you ever done your 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 thing? Have you ever, uh, you know, given anybody a spiel in your personal life to like turn them on, like firsthand? Um, I mean, yeah, the dirty talk, yeah, for free. I mean, yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's why when I was like, you know, I literally sex and do this. I mean, I'm single. I, you know, I do love sex. I don't date or actually get laid a lot, but you know, I do a lot of flirting and stuff like that. But yeah, I've definitely done the spiel in real life. I don't need a lot it's of people. It's weird. I, like when I'm with a guy that I'm actually attracted to, or I can't do it. I can't talk to her. <laughs> Why so do you ironic, think you get shy? I actually have a hard, like I get uncomfortable talking dirty to them. Mm. So do you think that like that's like your alter ego? Like um, who you are when you're when you're working? I would say because, I mean, in my real sex, I'm very submissive. But over the like phone, you're usually the dominary one. Correct. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. What's the What's your best client that you've ever, like? You know, the longest client that you've had. Um, I one of the ones with the male fetish. I think he's twenty two. Wow. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my regulars that I've had the longest that like are the most highest paying are both same age range and yeah. Same, you know. So the younger guys are the ones that pay more. Yes, which blows my mind. I don't know if it's just a different generation. It's harder for people to date and communicate. That that's why. I don't know, but it just seems you would think the young guys would be out there meeting actual girls, and you know. But they're not. Having How do you back. think that social media plays a role in them calling in to talk to you? Um, I think social media in general is just really put a strain on our interpersonal relationships in general. Just the mm-hmm. way you talk to people and just approach people and like the way people come at you and inbox you or DM you is just like, you know, I mean, I'm 39. I didn't like grow up dating like that. And so we actually talk to guys and get to know them and stuff. And I think social media just desensitizes people. Mm-hmm. Send nudes. <laughs> yeah, when they're actually that's a good one when they're texting with you do they ever try to send you know dick pics or whatever while you guys are sexting um yes but i have to accept it so in order to accept it um you know i have to tell them that it's okay to send a picture and then it'll allow me to download if not so they're not like spamming me oh, you know? oh so you're not constantly getting dicks in your face yeah and it's just, you know I don't. I Do you remember? Yeah. Okay, so you said you're 39. You're 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 part of the cool club. Um, so do you remember chat roulette? <laughs> Do you remember that? It was like a weird chat room where like you could basically log on, and then it was just like it was like a real game of um, roulette where like. You know, you don't know how many guns, you don't know how many bullets are in the chamber. And, uh, and basically you get screwed and like you don't know who you're going to see. Have you ever gone on to that website or did you ever go on to that website before Real Deal Leal? Uh, I think you told me about it. I told wow. you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, Kelly, have you, like, that reminds me of, like... you told me, like, oh, my God, there's all these guys with d- their dicks out. I'm like, what a surprise. Well, because on yours, you have to download the picture. Like, you have to give them permission to send you the picture. So, like, you know if you're going to get a dick pic, uh, it's right? Not, it's not the internet of old. Yeah. But remember on Chat Roulette where, like, you didn't know what was going to happen and it was just like a bunch of fucking guys showing their cocks. <laughs> 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 like, 
that that would definitely be scary for me. So, okay, so you do like the phone sex thing, but have you ever done cam work or anything like that? No. Okay. Have you ever been uh, solicited or taken out on a date? Oh, from, like, from one of the guys that gifted. you talked to. Yeah, gifted. I have not. Hmm. I've gone on a sugar daddy date, though. Okay. I tried to test the waters with that. I've never been solicited on the phone. I mean, for real life, no. I mean, they obviously don't. That's a regular it Tuesday like for Carlucci. So. No, Carlucci always thinks about having sugar daddies, but then when it comes down to it, First, I get scared. Yeah. I'm like, I'm too real. I'm like, I can't imagine having like some creepy old guy that like I wasn't interested in. Because don't get me wrong, there's some hot old guys out there. Hot old guys, holler at your girl, Carlucci. <laughs> Not these ones, though. Um, but there, but then some old guys are just creepy, and they're like, hey, yeah, let me buy you a lemonade and stick my tongue down your throat, and you're just like, oh my fucking god, Grandpa, no way. So. I don't know if I would be a good sugar baby because I have to really actually like be digging you to like kiss you and like have sex and yeah, it takes effort for sure. Yeah, I'm like, I what mean, if they like wanna, they need the fantasies though? So they want to believe that you want that. like I could never do. I can never pull like an Anna Nicole. Like I always used to think like I could pull like Ooh. an Anna Nicole, but like I couldn't. I never could because it's just like the first time that that skeleton tried to kiss me, I would run. <laughs> <laughs> I would run the other way. Can you even imagine? No, I cannot. Oh, Real deal, Leo. Could you do it? Could you date? Could you? Could you go for the Anna Nicole male version? <laughs> Nicole, you mean a man or uh, the or male old version? Lady? The old ass lady that was just loaded that you knew she was about to die soon, so you just got with her to just get that paper. Jaja, Jaja, I'd be, I'd be walking her puppies <sighs> tomorrow. <sighs> But that's not fair because Jaja Gabor is still well when she before she died well, before, she was still yeah. she was still beautiful mm. even though she was an old lady she was like well, she mean, was like Elizabeth Taylor I mean, like they, they fine would, to the end there would be a stigma but you know I mean it's it, it, I would be running game on um you know Ethel or whatever <laughs> I'd be running game on her I'd have my my girls over there she can't hear him. <laughs> I, I would smoke her out with her oxygen you know and she'd be out like a light. So just like I'd be using the cars, walking the dogs, wherever we're at, or probably in LA. But yeah, I would do it in a heartbeat. You you would pull the I mean, reverse. Like, fuck this, fuck this working the day day shit. No, I'm no working day to day. Yeah, You're like, trying and, to get hitched. And, women, women do that all the time. I was like, I should just take one for for the the male gender team. You know. Like, do you yeah. think that women still do that all the time? I don't think that women still do no, that all the time. No, I said women. Yeah, women do it all the time. Snapchat premium. Yeah, I guess you're right. There. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. It's a little spread thin now because of the economy, but you know, if I would get if I would get an Oprah, I would hold up a light. You'd be a Stedman. You'd be a Stedman. Yeah, if she wants to read a book, I would hold up that fucking light. <laughs> I would be the lamp and the coffee table. <laughs> no time. I have Harpo tattooed on my chest. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it would definitely Way happen. <laughs> have they ever made you any like outrageous offers? Have they ever been like Kelly, like girl? I want to fly you to the Bahamas tomorrow on my private jet. Um, one I think asked to fly me to like Kansas City. <laughs> That's about as Kansas City. What? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is in Kansas City? That's like me taking a girl to Circus Circus. <laughs> Probably my death, I would think. So oh, we live in Vegas. Things. That would be like if some guy was like, "Hey, you want to go to Reno?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, negative. Oh. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Hourly rate motel. Oh. Do you ever let them buy you other things besides like stuff through the the phone? Like, you know what I mean? Are you ever like, "Oh, that was so great talking to you. Can you get me this Louis you, bag?" You have a PO box. Basically. Right? Yeah. Like, I would be. I'd be hustling it for real. It's like, not yet. <laughs> did it do it again? It did. Um, so, I don't know. I think that if I were to be a phone sex operator, what would my name be? I don't know what my name would be. Um, We would have to think of one for me. Carlucci the Hoochie? I don't know. That might be a good one. Carlucci the Hoochie? I don't know. I don't know if that would be a good one for me. What would your what would yours be, real deal, Lil? What would your phone operator um, name bu- be? Bud Buddy? 
butt buddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I would. I don't know. I, you know, if, if I'm, it'd be depending on what, who I, I try to go after. And I'm definitely gonna aim for the older, estate, um, rich white lady, preferably, <laughs> or rich Oprah. All right. So what's your what's your sex what's your sex name? Your porno Fine. name is well. I, I don't know. I'm, I told Real Deal Deal what's your yours is you know Cutie the the killer Cutie Kelly. Or, but what would what would yours be? Real Deal Deal. What do you uh, think yours would be? Hepatitis D. <laughs> Michael Shingles. I don't Stop. know. <laughs> That's gonna make the old people afraid of you. That's not gonna make them want to come to you. <laughs> yeah, that probably wouldn't work out. I I, I don't know it yet, but uh, I'm definitely gonna. But you'll know like when I said, you see like it. Like I said, s- send me your email, Kelly. He, we need to work. He on wants the bot. in. He wants we need, in. We need to work on the text message bot. The answering. Yeah, I mean, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing big things for us. For us. Yeah, yeah. Dollar signs. I yeah, think dollar I think my I think the one you came up with me for is good. My my sex operator name would be Carlucci the Coochie. <laughs> the Hoochie. No. Hoochie. Hoochie's the Hoochie with the Coochie. Yeah, the Hoochie's like eighties. Eighties. <laughs> uh, Carlucci the Hoochie. Yeah, yeah. All right, I like that one. I like that one. I'm going with it. All right, you guys guess what it's time for. Guess what it's time for, people. Uh, Oh, we don't know. You don't know? Don't it's know. time for the sexy lexicon of the day. Are you guys the ready? Lexicon. Yeah. What is it? Um, well, it's a word that means something, and I want you guys to guess what it means. So I'm going to tell you what the word is, and then you guys are going to tell me what you think it means. Uh, neither Real Deal Deal or uh, the Killer Cutie Kelly have heard this word before. So they're just going to tell me what they think it is. So the word of the day is autocalasilithia. It sounds like a, a fetish. It is a fetish. A fetish or like a disease. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, Kelly, you go first. What do you think that word means? Um, I feel like it's something to do with hair or something for some reason. With like hair. Alto or something. Alto, Alto calcephilia. Okay. I've seen a movie about this. Does it just say, is it say auto, like A-U or A-O? Alto, A L T O, Alto. A L T O, Alto. That means. Um, hmm. Does that have anything to do with automobiles? <laughs> <laughs> your guess is. There's wait, a, what, wait. What's there's... your guess, though? Okay, okay, sex in an automobile. Is that uh, your? Well, no. There's a movie called. I think it's called. There's one called Crash that won an Oscar. And there's another one called Crash with I think Daniel was some other actor, and there was basically. They like to get in car accidents and then fuck. Afterwards. What? Yeah. It was a pretty, it was NC-17, but it was like, there was like decent actors in there. <laughs> so that's what I would say. They like to get in car accidents. And if they okay, survive. So, okay, so you think it's getting, <laughs> you think uh, it's getting in car accidents. Uh, and bleeding then, <laughs> from his head, you know. And then having sex glass afterwards. In her pussy, <laughs> glass in her pussy or whatever. It's like, great. All right, Kelly, what do you think that autocephalia is? I don't know. I don't think it's some kind of sexual fetish involving hair or like some kind of medical condition where you eat your own hair or something. Okay, oh, let's that, see. That was an Oprah episode, by the way. Autocalcephalia is a fetish for high Thank heels. Yeah. It's a, it's your phone sex operator name should be Stedman for you. <laughs> Stedman. Yeah. You calm down over there, Stedman. Stedman. Um, Stedman. There you go. It's <laughs> actually, it's actually a fetish for high heels. Um, it's Ooh, common wow. among men with a foot fetish and the synonym for it is retifism. Hmm. Yeah, retifism. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So I guess that's when you have a thing for heels. Well, I'll have to put that. In, I'll have to put that in the Pornhub search engine. Oh God, Ke- Kelly. Does Does anybody ever call you with foot fetishes? Um, no, I've never had a foot fetish. 
Really? I don't know. That might be awkward for me because I do have weird feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I could pull that one off. You don't know. So do when you... Okay, wait. Actually, that brings up something good. When you're talking to As them... As your manager, we can. <laughs> does it... Does it... <laughs> Come from personal experiences? Like, do you draw from personal experiences? Like, if you just had a hot okay. night the night before with your with some guy that you, you know, been talking to or whatever, and then it was really good, because, you know, as women, how it is when you get that real good D, and then the next day you're, like, walking around thinking about it. <laughs> like, every time you move and you feel that cramp in your hip, you're like, oh, yeah. You're like, God damn, that like, show was good. Yeah. the whole experience. Yeah, yeah. So then when you get some good D the next day, do you feel like you have better conversations? <laughs> I do. I feel like, you know, sometimes I'll just draw from the shit that I was saying to get the D or whatever and, you know, be like, oh, yeah. Flows a little bit easier. Fresh on the brain. <laughs> What's always crazy for me about talking dirty is that I'm always hella embarrassed the next day by whatever I say in the bedroom. So I've never been really good at like talking over the phone dirty, but like during sex, I say the most disgusting things and I'm just like the next day I'm like, oh Lord, I need to pray. (laughs) I'm like, what did I say last night? So (laughs) do you ever find yourself saying really dirty things to some of these guys on the phone like that? You're just like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. No, usually it makes me laugh, like, with the guys on the phone. But in my real-life dating, I said some really, like, I'll get drunk, and I drunk text, like, trying to get dick. <laughs> and I just really say some really nasty, inappropriate things to, you know, dudes that I'm texting with. And a lot of the time, I'll delete them before I pass out. So in the morning, I don't even have to read them, like, in the light of day because they're so bad. But sometimes I'll wake up, and there'll be, like, 20 just of the most – and, like, I'm such a creep. Like, I really am as creepy as the guys who call calling to me. So – yeah, I do that all the time. I'm horrified by my own dirty yeah. talk. <laughs> Have you ever... Also, what's funny to me about dirty talk is like that you're, you know, I could just literally be cooking a pot of rice and they're like, you know, talking. Like, I'm just going about everyday things. Okay, so now I have to, now I have to Slow put you. The rice. No, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. I have to give you a subject. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a random subject, and then put the, shoot the hot oatmeal. In and my then ass. I'm gonna have you, and then I'm gonna have you talk dirty about it. Okay, so um, let's see here. Okay, real deal, real. What's your favorite food? Um, pizza. I already pizza? know what it is. Pizza. But hold on, for for the sake of argument, um, oatmeal. You want it to be oatmeal? Oh Brown God. sugar. And okay, oatmeal. all right, Kelly. I want you to talk dirty <laughs> you to me. You the most unsexy food out there, right? <laughs> Make it sexy, Kelly. <laughs> this is a challenge. Oatmeal. Hot oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first? Do you want to well, go first or do you want to let it, her go first? If it's a hot pizza, I'm gonna that's not going to be a sexy either. <laughs> that's I don't hot, know. I greasy. can make the pizza hot. Oh, I bet you could. Bet I'm you like, could. do you want me to deliver this pizza to your box? <laughs> You want me to put this pee in your box? <laughs> no, you can just you can just knock on the door. Deliver. Knock on my back door. Oh. <laughs> okay, no, stop it. You, I'm just gonna sit here and like joke with you. I want to hear Kelly's bomb shit. She's got some good shit going on right now. Not my stupid shit. Okay, all right. Let's say sushi. Sushi. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Sushi. I think my sushi's side. better, and it has more entendre. Okay. Kelly, the subject is sushi. I want you to talk dirty to me about sushi, baby. Oh my gosh! Really? Okay. We'll Venmo you the. We'll Venmo you. you (laughs) I mean, what are we doing with the sushi? Okay, let's see here. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody, you want, Kelly? <laughs> do okay. Rank me no, one. you do a ring ring because I got I got something I got something good I got something good. Do a ring ring for me. Ring, ring. Okay, okay Kelly. Bling. I I'm feeling like I you know miss the sea tonight, and I think one of the sexiest meals I've ever had was sushi in Japan on the beach, and I want you to help me recreate that beautiful night when I got my tuna licked in the sand. It was. It was so hot. What were you hungry for tonight? You know, a, one of those screaming O's. So, what 
guess I got some nice sushi for us and California rolls and some tuna sashimi and I laid it all over my naked body and you could just peg rolls off of me as you please. Oh, that would be so hot. Can I put soy sauce all over you? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Do it. This is what would happen Don't if stop. I was the... Don't stop. Don't stop now. Don't stop, please. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> oh, no. I hate this new phone system so i this is why i could never be a phone sex operator because i would just start oh, laughing and that too this this phone system sucks but i would just start laughing in the middle of it i'd be like yeah can i pour some some soy sauce on your hot body can i put some I wasabi in your watusi some watabs <laughs> that's what i call a spicy mommy <laughs> I don't know. That's a little bit crazy for me. I, I would I would try to dump. I would be the waiter if I called up. I go, ma'am, not on all you can eat menu. I think I would <laughs> suck at it just because I would just be constantly cracking up. Yeah. Like they would say something to me and then I would well, just. That's the job. That's I would just take it as a joke. Yeah, that's a profession. You got to be because it's like. She's you like, got to be in character. Yeah, you got to be in character the whole time. You know what? Do you ever start you just... You deserve the Oscar. Right? Do you ever start busting up at some of the shit that they say to you? Like, have you ever had a call just go to where I you're... I do, just... and I'll just mute it. Oh, <laughs> I'll just ah. mute it. And like, I mean, usually I can, like, stifle the laughter, but sometimes I just really can't. Or, I mean, I've had to, like, just have the call disconnect before so I could regroup. <laughs> 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 like, so, just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, definitely. Well, I definitely know that there's probably a lot of guys out there right now wishing that they could get on the line and talk to Kelly, the killer cutie. I definitely know I've had a good time talking to you tonight. I can't even believe our hours already gone by so quick. That was, it doesn't seem like it. Um, I have found out a lot about guys and them calling in and wanting mom fantasies and grandma, grandma fantasies. No, rich you're grandma. you're the only rich one. <laughs> you're the only one that wants rich, rich grandma fantasies. Yeah. Um, so if people if people call into the show and they're like, "Oh, we want to talk to Kelly the Killer Cutie," I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try and divert them to my uh, Carlucci <laughs> the Hoochie sex line and, and try my hand at sex operating. But then they probably they won't pay me. <laughs> You think I'll do good? I think so. All right, maybe. (laughs) Maybe I might have found a new calling, you guys. I don't know. We'll 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 see. Carlucci the hoochie, the the phone sex operator. Well, you guys were fun as always. Um, thank you guys for playing with me tonight and being on the show. Um, you guys give yourselves a round of applause for being here tonight. Yay! Can find you, or do you want them to find you? Any of the? Oh yeah, do you want them to any find you? Any of the hundred uh, listeners? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> Sorry, boys, no. you can't call Kelly the Killer Cutie, but you can call me. You guys, I feel like I just invited like seventy-five million golden shower calls. Anyway, so oh, wow. probably there's going to be so many people trying to DM me to try to get your contact information now, especially because like you have a super sexy voice, so they're going to be like, "Can you?" Please, with Kelly. Oh, and I'd be like, no. No, but do you have Amazon Prime? No, but I'll, I'll charge <laughs> we will, them. We will send gifts. No, we'll I'll charge them a dollar forty nine, and I'll read the pizza menu off to them. There you go. I'll be like, yeah. anchovies. Puree. Peppers. Olives. Tomatoes. <laughs> hot, like, see, she's she's better than me. She's a hot brick oven, steaming pizza. Put me in the oven. Me in the oven. <laughs> bake my pie. Oh, bake my oh. pie. 
<laughs> you guys, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I really miss my co-host, SC Tornado Head. She yeah. will be back next week. Yeah, As for this the, week. The judge is going to let her go in a couple days. <laughs> She'll be back from vacation next week. Yeah. As for this week, I just want to thank you guys so much for being here with me tonight. Real Deal Leo, thank you so much for coming out. Oh. And Kelly, the killer cutie, thanks so much for hanging out with me online. Until next week, safe no, sex and paycheck.